<laughs> That's the best way to start a recording. Just someone going. <laughs> uh, I don't think you understand. That's for English football chant. <laughs> Let's hear the German one. Yeah, not much different. See Kyle, see Kyle, see Kyle, see Kyle. Hey, hey, you just, you just made this video's rating just go from PG to R. Oh, good. How is that good? Germany. We're trying to win all the audiences, all the dirty YouTube money and shit. Yeah, Even man. We don't how, how is Ivo so we don't to rub his shekels now? <laughs> so the shekels. I, he, oh he, just goes, plays the, he just goes plays in Rogue, he just goes plays Rogue Trader. Just be a navigator. Then he can rip shackles to his heart content. Right. Something I wanna point out. Ah, what the fuck? It's gone. Uh, <laughs> the mountain was so circled up and being blue. I was wondering what the fuck was up with that, but now it's not there. Never mind. By the way, Jade, <laughs> you will totally just meet the Pathfinder world in Rogue Trader, and it's just the scan is going to reveal planet planet worth negligible, <laughs> and Catherine is just gonna look at the screen. Let us not go there. It is a silly place. Right. <laughs> Enough with the crossovers. Let's roll, yo. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. There's too many crossovers. We don't have enough time anyway, since Jade is a <coughs> asshole and she's gonna leave us soon. <laughs> For Parents. Kids. Going to family dinners, pleb. <laughs> Having <laughs> actual family it's connections. Not centered. It's not centered. It's not centered. There we go. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Bad Jade. No. Shh, don't touch it. <laughs> okay, right. So currently, we're in this marvelous city of gold, which I can't find a picture for. I sent you a picture. <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah, I did. <coughs> like last session. Yeah, and it was shitty, so shut up. Oh, <laughs> oh don't be mean. I'll be mean to you now. Okay. Who died in the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> At least he died happy. That being he said, died. though, I think our first scene is actually going to be getting Will out of the hospital. Did, did any of you want to go and see him, or are you just waiting yes. at the table? Yes, yes, we can bring a stretcher. Yes. Oh, God. I'm going to, I'm going to spread my religion to this man. No! I'm uh. bless him. <laughs> no, please. Mercy. <laughs> Have mercy. <laughs> Science has no hold over me. So, guys, tell me, what are you going to do about Will? <laughs> exactly what I said. I'm sorry, I wasn't aware that I was some sick puppy that you have to take from the vet. Hey, you're a, you're a literal alchemist. There's not much difference. <laughs> it's like puppy, alchemist, alchemist rabbit. Yeah, it's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. then. So yeah, what are you guys gonna do? Like Sever, so you're probably the, <laughs> you've probably got the biggest majority vote since God doesn't know him. <laughs> biggest literal <laughs> dick. <laughs> Just bring him out in a wheelchair, it's fine. Wait, well, okay, so you go to a hospital and you have a count of a hospital. You just see this elderly old <coughs> woman woman. You can tell it's a woman since she's got a perm. <laughs> she oh. puts up a glass, she's looking up from a book and goes Yes. Yeah, I'd like to release uh, Wilfred. Release. I think that's his name. Release. release. What? The oh. Fuck? <laughs> oh, the human we have in the psychiatric ward. Yes, yes. Uh, psychiatric. I'll tell the security. To listen. <laughs> Wait, did they put me there because I was harassing all the nurses? Yes. 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 That is exactly what they did. <laughs> It's like, I'll tell the security to go and get him now. Thank We've been you. helping him since, for some reason, he was extremely poisoned. We have no clue why. Anyway, we get him now. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> Wait a second. Somebody sent me something. Oh, that's perfect for the underworld. Oh, okay. Yes, Concy has sent me the, what's underneath the golden market, but you can't see that yet since you're not under it. You're actually on top. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to uh, make it all sexual. Jesus, calm down. <laughs> Ivo, your understanding of sexuality is very strange. Now go back to your psychiatric ward. 
<laughs> You're not even here that being yet. Said, though, right, Will, you've been feeling better since your time in the psychiatric ward. The padded walls are really helpful, and so is the drip <laughs> you've been receiving. <laughs> oh, no. God. Uh, is, uh, have I oh, been in you, a straight been... jacket or something? <laughs> No, 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 you've just been put in a padded room. They ha- had nowhere else to put you. <laughs> but you have been receiving a drip. A what? Like this is... <laughs> a drip. Yeah, you know, like a drip, an IV. IV drip? Ah, okay. Yeah. But instead, you notice you're, of course, a doctor, in a way. And you've noticed that this solution is not 100% normal for human, like, IVs. <laughs> it wasn't made for abyss. humans. <laughs> Well, for instance, have no the to... liquid isn't clear and it's not extra blood. It looks kind of like liquid crystal, almost. <laughs> well, yeah, dwarven it's doctors really aren't the best. and slightly, like slightly, yeah, it's slightly <coughs> reflective. I suspected something made specifically for dwarves. There's no way to fucking test it unless uh, I roll a huge enough heel check that I can determine based on that what the fuck they're giving me. <laughs> Or you could just yeah, roll up for test. You, you could try. Fuck it, I'll try it. Why not? I'm interested in shit like that, so... Learn this while you can. Let's see. Itself. Plus 17. How do you have a plus 17? Because I'm a doctor, yo. 27. <clears throat> 27. Wow. <laughs> just... Wow. Why don't you just wait? Why did you just take twenty? It's not like you're buying. Oh yeah, your... since I'm not into a rush, I can just take a twenty. So yeah, consider it a forty-seven. Good luck. You mean take a ten? You can just you take, take a ten. <laughs> nah, it doesn't matter really. It's so called take ten, not take twenty. You play. You can also <laughs> take twenty. You can take a twenty if it's a task that you can perform multiple times without any pressure. <clears throat> oh. Okay, yeah, you're I... fucked, dude. Like, for instance, if you wanna tie your shoes mm-hmm. and for some fucking reason you have to have a roll, you can just say, uh, eventually I'm gonna make it, so give me a 20. And done. <laughs> five days fair later. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> five days later. My shoes, they are done. So yeah, what happens? Okay. I'm so hungry. You, you discover that this crystalline-like substance is kind of familiar to something you have in your possession. Oh? For instance, it looks almost exactly the same as the crystal orb you got back all the way from um, Lumagoth. Oh, so oh. that's where that fucker <clears throat> got it. <clears throat> hey, hey, if I that's cut off the. Too. If I cut it off right now without getting the entire dose, can I swipe a few of those things, like for later use? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I would say you would be uh, uh, <laughs> just the fatigue status. Stealing hospital supplies is very tiring when you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, uh, that reminds me, you guys didn't have any fights last session, right? No, we did not. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you can't, it's gone. Unless you can't survive right now. Well, <laughs> I'm... Which I don't. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. I don't want to be fatigued. I have no idea what's going to happen this session, so... Nah, he's just going to chill out. But at least now I know how yes, to use those yes. fucking things and what they are, so that's awesome. Yes. So yeah, yeah we'll just chilling. Yeah, you could buy. <coughs> just chilling, I. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Well, I By suspect. The time you... I suspect they didn't leave him any of his shit, so he can't like uh, do experiments. I guess he can just read his pharmaceutical book. So. Did they leave you your books? Hopefully. <laughs> You're, pa- <laughs> you're passed out. I need a book. <laughs> Dude, how can you survive without books? You need books, yo. YouTube. Oh shit, this is fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ye oldie tube. <clears throat> ye oldie tube. <laughs> but anyway, yes, yeah, what's so, next? I'm... actually, I was about to say, if you let me finish, you pleb. <gasps> <laughs> But yeah, by this time, something strange starts happening in your cell. The uh, wall seems taut and shape for but a moment until they split apart and reveal a figure, a demonic oh my figure, God. God damn it. clad in blue. What Bad, does she trip. Look like? Bad trip. Bad <laughs> trip. What does she look like? She kind of looks like a blue Severa. A blue Severa? 
Okay. Well, Fred's been munching on the happy mushrooms. <laughs> nah, they don't affect him by this point. He's an alchemist, dude. Come on. Ah, oh, you're right. He's been don't you know the re wacky tobacco. Don't you know that all alchemists have to try out their own ingredients? Exactly. That's why I have tumors. I have immunity to poison. Yeah. Yeah, man. They don't have immunity. The yes, equivalent yeah. exchange. Wow. You have, you, you have immunity to one specific poison. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, Coney, well, just put me into a suit of armor. Put my right soul now, in a suit of armor. Right now, I just have resistance, but at level 10, I'm gonna be completely immune to all poisons. Because alchemist. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, and you're laying there in a stupor. You're basically the entire floor is your bed by this point, since it's all nice and cozy. And. Uh, so, as soon as I see her, I sit up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking to you. Wow. <laughs> I was Fuck your to phone. Again? Like Seriously? Every time? Every keep time you try to talk. Right keep, keep, telling us about, keep telling us about the Navi. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. you keep talking about Anyway, as soon as... Uh, uh, Wilfred sees that, he kind of uh, sits up in bed and is like, uh, uh, Hi, are you my next door neighbor or something? Silence there. Yeah. Yes, yeah, silence. Sorry. Somebody's talking to me. But yes. God, I'm so unprofessional. Yes. <laughs> Fucking. But yes. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, hi, are you my next door neighbor? <laughs> ah, I see. She kneels down a little, look at, <laughs> looking down at you and goes, eh, You don't look like much. But I suppose <laughs> you will do. By the way, yeah. at this point, about half HP. <laughs> Just because I say so. <laughs> yeah, for, that's what, uh, uh, yeah, that's what uh, usually they <coughs> say before they give me a try. I see, I see. So, are you going with them to see the dragon? Um, dragon? Excuse me, what? Oh, you don't know, she says coyly as she puts her hand on her chin. Hmm. Well, either way, you should hurry along now. As she reaches down, she grabs hold of your arm firmly, squeezing it as her claws digs into your skin but a little. Like you can resist if you want. No. But uh, <laughs> there is something like I'd rather do I before you continue. Kiki. Wow. Mm -hmm. There is something I'd like to do before you continue, though. What? Well, since this is kind of Wolfred's thing, no matter, even if they've taken all his shit, he's still gonna have some, uh, some basic materials around. So he's gonna make a rose and uh, put it in her hair. There you go. Thank you, Severus' um, older sister. Uh, by the way, I like that. You, you like weakly make a rose in it. <clears throat> like that. Just put it in. And, she's, and she smiles and says, Oh no. It's like, I. Sabaya only has two sisters that I know of. I'm her mother. Oh, say hi to her for me. As she stands up, she starts walking back through the hole in the wall, which slowly closes. And with that, you suddenly feel so revitalized. <laughs> Get the trait Infernal Healing for the time being. Uh, you know I have fast healing, right? Yeah, but you also get Infernal Healing on top of it. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <sighs> Check out Megan. Just tell me what it does, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. Jeez. Dude, so unprofessional. Sorry, you also You're have, gonna you use a skill have... and you don't even know what the fuck it does. Wow. <laughs> you gain, you get, in other words, your current fast healing doubles. Oh and my you also god. Gain, and you also count for, as an evil creature. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> all the time being. <laughs> oh like, you don't act evil, but you count as evil. <laughs> well, that mean, wait, wait, does that mean... No, wait, he's not undead. Never mind. I was about to say, like, <laughs> he was like, undead and came over. Healing spells hurt him or something. That would be funny. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, actually, you get fast healing four. Oh, oh my god. Well, 
if you if you double me, that means I get five, so it's not really that big of a difference. Oh, fair enough. Right now I can heal for yeah. five, so just double it means ten. It's if it's four. Yes, you're healing five, very it fast. Much. Wow. And you can is evil. So at this point, the security guard comes in and goes, "Ugh, at least you're looking better," and reaches down to grab hold of your arm and is like, "What are you doing with yourself? Maybe you belong in here." He says to the bleeding of your arm. <laughs> Uh, wait, fuck, I don't know Dwarven. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just talking common. I, uh, I uh, wrestle his uh, hand off me. Don't worry, I'm fine, I can walk on my own. And uh, the wound visually starts to heal up in front of his eyes. I'm fine now, don't worry about it. I just need my stuff. Wow. Yes. Didn't know humans could do that. Yeah, Either we're way, awesome Follow like me, that. we'll grab your things. Thank you, sir. Oh, also... And of course you go through the motions of signing a load of documents to get your Where is stuff. Corbin? I should be able to sense him. Corbin's outside. Okay, good. He wasn't allowed inside, no pets. No, but he's not a pet, he's a part of me. He's Still not allowed. Okay. <laughs> and we one patient at a time. I'm surprised no one so, asked yeah. about him, but okay, let's roll. Yeah, so you're allowed, like, uh, you get, you know, to sign documents, and eventually you're wheeled out of the hospital in a wheelchair. Why? <laughs> yeah, despite <laughs> I despite your protests, despite your protests, they had to wheel you out in the wheelchair. Wow. Because your condition. <laughs> and for my so, yeah, they wheel you out uh, out the door to, and you see, it's like you see your friends right there, and some very huge guy. You swear you saw when you were high. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I take it that it's a very big guy in stone armor and seems to be glowing slightly. Um, <laughs> not slightly. Oh, the mushrooms are oh, worn off, are man. You a oh, huh? No, You're he's not holding I'm think. just super holy because I'm a god. No, uh, he, can uh, he can probably sense I'm evil. He can probably sense I'm evil. No, I, I am an Azamar, so I can I, I, I can sense evil. Angel King can do that. <laughs> Like, so, what the oh, fuck? so oh. that's why you did that, so you I, fucker. So as a passive, you can actually sense that he's uh, he, he should yeah, like, an evil creature. Yeah. I'm, an evil yeah, creature. You basically see this frail human in a wheelchair and you realize that he's the ultimate evil. <laughs> this is the end He slowly he slowly puts down the phone shit just got real. <laughs> did you kill Why'd you why did you hit my son? He killed John Wick's cat, caught, dog. Oh. What? <laughs> anyway, no, yeah. Was, I have no idea what the fuck he just said. So, uh, I don't know what you just said. That's weird. As soon as I see this uh, weird uh, burly steroid guy, I look over to Severa and I'm like, uh, Severa, first orcs, then dwarves. What have you been doing while I was in the hospital? Oh my god. Okay, first, I haven't done a dwarf. Second, I would never do the stupid spirit, okay? Spirit? What? Uh, a spirit? Same goes me for me, you. demon. The grim darkness of the distant past. You just, <laughs> you just hear Ezreal just like, just he just looks at her, just sighs again. He's been doing this a lot. Yeah, he's doing it. Wilfred addresses the new guy, which he doesn't know in Celestial. Um, uh, hello, who might you be, sir? Oh, you, what? Ezreal, <laughs> Ezreal behind his helmet, his eyebrows raised. Yeah. He speaks in Celestial. Oh, you, you know my language. You know Celestial. How do you know that? I know a lot of things. Though one thing I don't know is uh, why are you here? I am here to show you the way to the dragon. Oh, why, well, that's very kind of you. At this point, he switches back to common, so, you know, it's not rude to everybody else who doesn't know it. <coughs> well, uh, my name is uh, Wilfred Dion, the greatest alchemist in the world. What is your name, good sir? Who he claims. My name is Hey, Azio. can you prove it wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I just right. get passionate about alchemy. My, na my name is Azrael. Jade, did, we come did you come up with the name of the mountain? What was... I know you did. Uh, you are Azrael <laughs> of the High Mountain. I come from this mountain, I yeah. don't know its name, I'm gonna ask the invisible voice in my head. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, you couldn't come up with a freaking name. Hey, it, you wanted you? to. Yeah. Anyway. I didn't say I was to do it. Fine, I'll just say bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll just say I am Azrael. 
God of the High Mountain. And he, he bows his head. Uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, God, I thought she said you were a spirit. <laughs> she is, looks at her, uneducated. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, uh-huh. okay then, we've got a demon and a god slash spirit. Excellent, good job. Right. <laughs> Wilfred doesn't know how to react to that. So, Will, how is your stay in the hospital? Did the dwarven nurses take good care of you? Oh, more uh, importantly... More importantly, why do you smell... Why do you... Feel something evil about you? Well, no, just, I wouldn't what? exactly call her evil. I f she was very kind and uh, sexy. Uh, Azriel looks at Severa. She wouldn't look like her, would she? Well, uh, she was a little bit more mature and sexy. Also blue. The blue is like, <laughs> that's what turned him on. <laughs> Ezreal just nods his head. Mm, I see. Severa walks up to Will and grabs the collar of his, of his shirt. Where is she now? Uh, I don't know. I've, after I'm uh, done with my ladies, I don't know where they go. It's their business. <laughs> 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 I just imagine Wilfred as fucking Tyrion Lannister at this point. Uh, did she do anything to you? Well, yeah. Why would she visit me otherwise? Oh, God. Uh, because you know me? I don't think that's... Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know why she visited me. I'm just glad she did. I really needed some distractions because uh, the dwarven nurses were not very generous with their treating. Let's say that. They weren't sexy enough for you. You mean? <laughs> yeah, you're making it sound much worse than it was. Yeah. No, more like they, <clears throat> more like uh, they got scared of the things I wanted to do to them. <sighs> you shouldn't you know, be tempted by a demon. Why not? I, evil. I, I would be disgusted by this. But I'm not, and that scares me. Infernal, uh, Israel just looks, he says, You reek, you, you reek of evil. What again, did she do? Again, I wouldn't exactly call her evil, she was very nice. Very gentle. That's Appearances rude. can be deceiving. She's plenty evil, trust me. Well... You're pretty evil too, but I don't know. I guess we still keep you around, don't we? Wow. Wait, is Severa actually evil? No, okay, no she's a good. she's a she demon, so <laughs> that is true. She's a woman in an RPG game. I'm I'm sorry. I have to hate you by principle. You're a demon. Uh. You're a teasling. <laughs> I have to hate you. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, enough of this silliness. Uh, Wilfred uh, gets up from the chair and. Uh, Thanks the people that, you know, pushed him all the way out here. Uh, shouldn't we get going? I hear there's a dragon to meet. I guess we should get going. <laughs> you okay, what was that? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that she, was she laughed at the fact that I'm something. so matter-of-factly. Yeah, let's go meet a fucking dragon, you know, a mythical yeah. being. No, 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 it's not that. It's, as you guys turn around, you're about to leave for a dragon, your epic quest, and then suddenly... <laughs> The sunny Asriel <coughs> arrow flies out nowhere and hits your shoulder. Um, no, the, the it, knee. I can't. I can't be an adventurer anymore. No, no it's shoulder. It's the hits, shoulder, not the knee. No, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> it doesn't hit your shoulder. It goes through your armor. Oh okay, shit! It just hits your armor. It just goes king, and through the back of it, <laughs> you, you look at it, it's like the arrow is just sticking there. No other arrows come. And Will, since you're behind him, probably, you, you see that arrow has a tiny little note attached to it. Oh, uh, excuse what? me. Yoink. He yoinks the arrow and uh, opens up the letter so he can read it. As your breaks the arrow. <laughs> I know I have. The needs seven bells, the miners dispute. Seven bells, the miners dispute? We just, dispute. just post it. Spike. I'm sorry, okay, yeah. There you go. Meh. That's much better. Corbin posted it. <laughs> <laughs> Corbin posted it. 
<laughs> Next level, he's gonna be <laughs> able to speak, so it's fine. <laughs> As you're like, he, he takes the arrow out of his armor. What, what, what's the arrow made of? Like, what's it uh, look like? You take it from Will since he kind of. What do you think arrows are though. made of? Well, I mean, like, it, there's different makes. Okay, it's made of adamantium. Yes. <laughs> wow, dude, let's it's, sell that it's shit. Just, <laughs> it's just a normal wooden arrow with a steel oh. tip. Wow, you're a weak spirit. I'll break it. <laughs> Why? Uh, Why would you break it? This arrow was an asshole. Uh. Don't question me. Mm -hmm. Question. I'll question your intelligence hey, later. Kuha, weren't you big on gods and stuff? What do you think of this new guy? <laughs> <laughs> Is he crazy? Is Can it... we trust him? I <laughs> guess. You guess. Hey, maybe he should have been in the hospital instead of me, you know? I don't know, he goes around <laughs> telling he's a god and stuff. Is he really a god? Where the fuck did you find him? Uh, I, think his I think his godlyhood was just a bit hurt by the fact that I am in my giant stone arm. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I am a literal god. <laughs> <sighs> that being said, though, yeah. Uh. <laughs> So, considering yeah, um, I've been in the hospital and don't had my shit, no. I need time to prepare all my extracts and mutagens, right? Yeah, hang on a minute. Fuck. So, uh, you would know that what this is talking about is mm. base key and in. That is used in all lower quarter for miners. Hmm. So, currently, it's a note to go to the in, the lower minor quarters? Uh, the seven bells. No, 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 seven bells is a time. That's what I meant. No yeah. At seven bells, you're gonna be. We need to meet at that place. That's what I was saying. <laughs> and seven bells being probably seven a.m., which is again <laughs> close to. Right. No, so. No, so how far away? Yeah. How far away is this place? Shouldn't be that far. Hmm. Then I still won't have time. This you can make them as suck. you walk. Yeah, but my mutagen requires an hour. An hour. It's gonna take me a while. We could, you know, if we What's get there early. Currently, Jade. Oh, who's the strongest mm -hmm. guy here? Me. I have the 18 strength. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> big like boy, big boy. Time. I like you already. He pats you on the shoulder, and then he proceeds <laughs> wait, wait. to climb up on your strength? shoulders. 18. Ha! <laughs> ah, I have more decks than you have strength. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, Wilfred. Um, yeah, Wilfred compliments you, pats you on the shoulder, and climbs up on your shoulders to sit there. What? Get off me! Uh, <laughs> I need to prepare my. To I need to. I need to prepare my uh, stuff if you want me to help you out in the in the days to come. So, bear with it. Just, just okay. let him do what he wants. <laughs> Are you gonna allow it or? <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. Dude, uh, just well, let me it, point this you out. Don't, whatever happens, check. you don't rush a mountain. Give me like 30 minutes and then I'll decide. You don't even move a mountain. Just uh, we'll climb. <laughs> well, at this point, Wilfred points out, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm being a little rude, but unless I do this stuff because I didn't have a chance before, basically I'm not going to be able to do anything. So if you guys get into trouble, you're on your own. Are you sure you want that? It's fine, you can just shout supporting stuff from behind. Yeah, I can do that if you want. <laughs> Bluefish, you may roll either CM, 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 is it CMB? Yeah, CMB, which is your base, your grapple, or climb. Uh, <laughs> to climb oh my <laughs> tall character. <laughs> uh, well, I think my CMB is going to be way better, so I'm going to do the CMB. Yeah, it's four, so it's way better than my climb. <laughs> Which is like what minus one? Mm. Eleven. Oh. 
Actually, you're lucky the DC isn't that high because he's only eight foot tall. <laughs> okay, so I climb has, him and I start oh, preparing. He has rocky outcroppings. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use his head as a small table to place my stuff while no, I'm mixing okay. the liquid. That crosses the line right there. <laughs> I was gonna let you, but no. But I was gonna just like, yeah, I'm gonna drop him off me. Just get oh, off. No! Do I take full damage from that? <laughs> no, you have to be at least 10 foot in the air to take full damage. Ow. So if I was just 2 feet taller... <laughs> If you just lift him up up with his your hands and drop him, he'll take fall damage. You're that tall. Yes! Yes! Thank you, Kuha. Exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you want him to take fall damage? Oh, no! <laughs> no! I don't. Okay. No, as you're just like... You just shut like, him off. Yeah, just... Uh, get off. No, 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 wait. If he's gonna... Once I'm up there, if he wants to shake me off, I should have some kind of role to be able to resist that and stay there. <laughs> Is this really oh, happening? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know why. By the way, I just want to say, Kony, your character can see all of this. You just He's see this strange just... little human climbing on this rock. Like okay, thing. Tyrion just stands on top of the on top of the building he had he he had been shooting from. He looks down, and he looks back at the papers of the faces he had been given. Like you know, these are supposed to be heroic figures. And he looks at it. And he looks back, and he just shakes his head. <laughs> Can I just get him off, Jade? I, this is actually just uh, no. This is I'm gonna uh, Jade. I'm gonna knock another arrow, <laughs> and I want to shoot it at Wilfred's hand. <laughs> Wait, at his hand, like into his hand? Yes. Oh my god. Because <laughs> he is like. Remember, this is like disgusting to him. <laughs> okay, well attack. Oh my God. I, uh, can I can I take ten because I'm taking my time? <laughs> you may. <laughs> In this uh, instance, what is the may. DC of this test? First off, no, oh, you don't know that. How it's my touch attack. Uh, I'm currently like seventy feet away. So no penalties. No penalty for me. Yeah. <laughs> Go on then. Oh my God. All right. Um, I'll roll, and if I roll worse, I'll take twenty. Dude, do you have over plus 3? I have plus 11. Doesn't matter, I have touch attack 14, you're gonna hit me. Wait, wait. You straight up hit me. I always don't do touch. Um, oh wait, they don't do? Well, it's 15, it still doesn't matter. Oh no, I've got 15 it's a cool AC. shot, you gotta actually make an attack, sorry. Alright, give me a sec, I need to see what my base attack is. One moment. My AC uh, because is Because I get, I get bonuses for it, that's why. Um. There's, no way you're <laughs> there's no way you're not gonna hit a 15, come on. If I if hold on if I, if I take ten that means I roll a twenty one. Yeah, so you automatically win. I've got fifteen, dude. You can't. You fail. can't take ten. Oh, uh, I can't. Okay. As I said, I, this is a cold shot. Oh. I have thirteen. Wait, doesn't cold shot give minuses? It's just a higher DC, bro. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh my oh, God, fuck, you fail because with a cold no, shot no, no, it's no, minus rolled, five. No, 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 that's not. No, fuck, I'm dumb. I'm <laughs> dumb. I'm dumb. Oh wow. Oh Ooh. wow, you still fail! <laughs> oh shit. Wow. So okay, I'm gonna say this. All you see, like when you're struggling on top of him, all you see is this arrow fly by and this old man coming out of the hospital and his, and his flipping walking like, stick gets taken out in front of him by this arrow. And goes, <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did he just kill someone? No. <laughs> no, 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 just fell over. It wasn't. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, shut up, shut up. As, uh, as, yes, you'll, see this, as you'll see this, throw, he throws a wolf and off, goes up to the cane. How do I roll it. some shit? He comes up to the old man, kneels down for the old man, picks him up, and gives him the cane and said, Here, right. sir. Considering that pretty much, uh, pretty much gave his position away, Corbin is gonna fly over there and keep dips on him. He, <laughs> position, okay, can he pass my stealth check? Okay, oh. I sure. mean you can try. Sure, go ahead. Okay. What do I roll? Give, give me a sec. For Corbin. Give, yeah, give me a sec. What's what's Corbin's perception? A what? Oh, okay. Just One sec. <laughs> okay, beat that. Okay, just a sec. <coughs> wow. Perception. perception. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> oh wait, that's nineteen. <laughs> Fuck yeah, me! Yeah. <laughs> like I said, please, be my guest. 
Nah, fuck that, doesn't matter. It's not gonna matter. Oh, please, so it's I don't unless it's a, unless it's a natural a 20, it's not gonna matter. Yo, um, Ezreal... Yeah. By the way, I would just say, I messed up a little. You guys wouldn't have noticed the arrow. You would have noticed the cane getting knocked out, and then the arrow stuck in the cane. Yeah, no, Ezreal <laughs> is gonna walk up to the cane, pull the arrow out, come up to the guy, get on his knees, and hand it to the old man. This he guy looks, uh, thinks he can find my character. Anyway, <laughs> let's get going, already. We wasted the, enough time. But, but the okay. old man, I have to know if he's okay. He's okay, so don't worry about it. Nature. Wilfred puts... Uh, the old man goes, thank you, young man, here. And he gives you one copper. <laughs> uh, Wilfred uh, <laughs> touches... Uh, ah, I have to give him a kindness. He gave me money. I have to bless him. <laughs> give me money. <laughs> he gave me an offering. Oh, one d 10 for blessings. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> in, in the meantime, Tyrion just jogs away. <laughs> Uh, kind of flexing his hand, because he's like, what the fuck, how did I just miss? I suck. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Ah, that's not that, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, Wolf the, old, the old man has, <laughs> has uh, one spell of his level. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh god, he gets primordial annihilation. <laughs> uh, Wilfred uh, puts his hand on the old man and the old man gets surrounded by a healing aura and all his uh, bruises go away. There you go. You're fine. <laughs> this old man <laughs> is slowly returning to his former self as the evil overlord of the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> he gets returned to him the spell of his he choice. He throws away the staff. Yes! As that being said, this old man does, seriously, this old man does look better. He actually stands up straight and like looks at the cane and is like, uh, thank you. Uh, are you a healer? Yeah, don't worry about it. Really? He, he shakes Wait. your hand and goes, thank you, both of you. <laughs> thank it's you, gods, okay. thank you. And Wolf he's like, just smiles. And he's going away. Wolfred just, just smiles and walks ignores, and Asriel just ignores Wilfred, starts walking towards Dan. Yeah, right. Let's roll. Yeah, the end's just down the road, guys. God damn, I need to prepare my shit. Oh, you can prepare it at the end. Just, uh, just prepare it. You have plenty of time. I can't do it on the fucking move. <laughs> I don't think I would allow you to do it on the move on top of Azure either. <laughs> <laughs> carry on to the end. Right, you start going through. You are at the palace, basically, and you move down into the middle court to go to the hospital, and now you're going even lower. Basically, you were around about here, and now you're heading into <coughs> here. Okay. So basically, where everything's away. still being dug out, still being designed. <laughs> and as you head out, uh, you see the more inventive of dwarven like, machinery. For instance, it's no longer behind the walls where you can't see it so nice and clean. There's like a lot of steam around. <laughs> yeah, there's I'm a lot of steam home. around. And, well, most of you can probably guess that some of it's uh, gnomish. Hmm. Surprising. I guess mm -hmm. when they were being uh, building the underground train, maybe the gnomes and the dwarves worked out... Uh, uh, treaty between each other to exchange technology <laughs> and such. Wait a minute. <laughs> Where did Remember I put slag? The, <laughs> the orc and the gnome share kingdom. Yeah. You just... Oh, by the way, oh, yeah. Severa, <coughs> while we're on the topic, <coughs> while we're on the topic, uh, I have a small favor I'd like to ask you. What is if it? If that's alright. Well, considering we're here, I think this is probably the best place in the world to get some uh, high quality mithril, and I'm gonna need some mithril. For what, may I ask? <laughs> That's a surprise. He just smiles. Mm, I don't like it. Tell so me what. Uh, when we get back to Ibiza, I'm gonna show oh. you what it's for. How's that? Consideration? <sighs> what? What was that? I can't hear you. I, you I sound distant. something to you. <sighs> So yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need one pound of uh, mithril and some tools which I can use to carve in, uh, carve uh, my family's crest into it. Oh, so you're gonna use it to carve your crest into it? Uh, yeah. After I'm done uh, working on it, I'm gonna need to mark it. Okay. 
I can get you some mithril after we go to the inn. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. No problem. When she says the end, <laughs> she means the end favor. of the game. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. as, we're, as we're walking, as we're just stops, looks around. Where the where did I put slag? Eh, he's slag. probably off drunk somewhere. Yeah. Far away, back What's in slag? the palace, <laughs> lying on an he's open, drunk. cracked open barrel of ale, <laughs> just with his head against the wet floor. <laughs> As you just, he just throws your swords. He'll be fine. He just keeps walking. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, roll perception. Oh, uh, <laughs> which is wisdom? No, perception. Is, oh, uh, that. actually, wait. I think it is wisdom. Uh, it is wisdom, but that's not what she meant. She meant the skill, which is based on. The Perception, how much did Perception. I get anyway? Oh, there we yeah. go. A nice good round number. Wow. And you beat me. Wow. 25. Wow. Suck it. Wow. Suck it. Uh -huh. William? I'm doing it. Give me a second. I don't Let's think it matters. 25, you casual. I don't think it matters for a while. It doesn't. It... What is your wisdom modifier for perception anyway? Wisdom? <laughs> One. <laughs> Yeah, even if he rolls a 20, Jade, it doesn't matter. Yeah, good point. Even with 20, you're not gonna beat that, so... So I don't oh, think... Uh, yeah. Almost! Yeah. That's not bad, actually. But but still, anyway. You guys are heading through. It's, this is starting to get in a bit more rough and tumble kind of dwarves. One you've read about in Legends. Ones that just dig all day and eat rocks at night. <laughs> wow. They dug too okay. greedily and too deep. <laughs> Then they stole what they good. <laughs> they stole what they dug too deep for. That's what, kind of, that's what kind of dwarves these guys are. Awesome. It, it's like as you get closer to the miners' respite, you see people just trading among themselves, trying to get good ores and what they need. And you, of course, outside the inn, you see a few. You actually see a few like gnomes and the like there as well, and even uh like. Two humans as well, off to a side talking to a dwarven noble of some kind. Of course, you can tell he's a noble. He's wearing a fine purple suit and the like. There's also somebody smoking by the door, and uh, this plume of smoke you have to go through to enter the inn. I like this place. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies first. I nudge over for Will. Uh, <laughs> Wilfred steps to the side and uh, bows cautiously as he makes room for her to move through. Thanks. Sarah walks through the plume of smoke as if it were nothing. The figure at the door smoking puts a hand across the door to block your path. I don't think that <laughs> smoke is good for my health. I'm still coughing. <laughs> <laughs> it is realistic. <laughs> The figure looks up from underneath his hood and pulls it back, revealing an elven face. So, oh, hey. how's it going? <laughs> You're the heroes of the realm, then, eh? Can we help you? Are you the one that fired an arrow at that big guy over there and points to the god? <laughs> How would you know? That's why I'm asking. Wasn't talking to you, little human. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> so, you, Severa, was it? Yes. You don't look like your picture. My I imagine picture? you taller. <laughs> I'm the tallest in the group, other than the spirit. Wait, you are? How tall are yeah. you? Yes. 6'3". I guess that's okay. game. I'm still two feet taller than you. Suck it, demon. Yeah, he's gonna take out a rolled up parchment and toss it over to Severa. Severa catches it. What it's, is it? It's a newspaper clipping from the Elven Realms, which speaks of heroes of the realm going to the Dwarven Kingdoms who have united the Orc lands, and there's pictures of you. Oh, except the, famous. Except the, uh, the stone guy. <laughs> he's new. <laughs> Severa opens up the parchment. 
there's stylized pictures of all of you inside. I guess stylized. our fame precedes us. Yeah, I could have done better. Yeah, I guess. Your fame might have also exaggerated your actual potential. Yeah. Uh, at that point, uh, Wilfred uh, speaks in Elvon and, say, and says, I don't want to take uh, criticism for someone who greets people in such a way, Mr. Stalker. He's just going to look at him, like this kind of like head cocked to the side, and he's just going to say in Elvin, You know, it's funny that you can speak my language, and it's funnier that you can think you can pass with that accent. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, at that point, Wilfred Frowns is obviously angry about that comment, and he just stares daggers at him. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> the oh, eight charisma is showing through. <laughs> At this point, he's just gonna stand in. As he as he steps off, you see as his clothes, like as his his armor and well, you don't see the armor, but like as his robe and cloak, his cloak, I mean, just come off the door. It's almost like the shadows are clinging to the cloak. That's cool. Mm. That's Dark magic. Not really. I know. Well, yeah, if you can think about the shadows and how it's dark in the shadows, but hey, what? hey. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, carry on. Sorry. <laughs> All right, and he's I just apologize. gonna go. He's gonna take out his bow, and he's gonna clap it against his chest. No matter. My name is Tyrion Evenstride, Ranger of the Elven Lands. I come to offer you my service, as it is. Oh. You went to well, work for us. We we're kind of lacking or and Do not under do not misunderstand my words. I do not wish to work for you. I wish to work with you. Oh. Have you there been sent danger. here as a representative from the Elven Lands? Because I send uh, a I don't answer. represent those damn fools. <laughs> oh? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Then I like uh, a spunk. tell me, what reasons do you have for wanting to join us? To protect my people. From their own <laughs> fucking stupidity. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, that's very noble, but I'm not sure about the way you worded it. And Wilfred laughs awkwardly. Eh, it's fine. He's gonna walk up to him and go, Your people enslaved mine for thousands of years. Do not think that I have forgotten. Well, or it forget. wasn't that long. But! <laughs> I remember when you were still... <laughs> when you lived in but. trees. We share a common foe. The threat is common. Are you all talking in Elvish still? No, fucking common. Okay, good. No, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> that would be rude. Like, a threat is common. <laughs> and if we don't stand together against it, we all risk death. But don't think that I'm just going to treat you as a friend. Monkey. <laughs> um, as the looks at the uh, elf, so elf. Tell me, have they completed the Great Tree? <sighs> I've only seen it three times in my life. Yes, it was ah. completed. Ah, good. That was uh, that was a long time ago. Thanks back. Ah, well, at least so, they got it done finally. I take it you don't keep the company of other elves much, huh? I don't keep the company of any but myself in the land. This place looks around the city. It tires me. Sorry about my kingdom. Uh, Wilfred As... uh, leans over to Severin and whispers in her ear, Forever alone. <laughs> Actually, Tyrion is going to look at Severin. Your kingdom? Oh. Yes. Yeah, I let's say just my... say she knows some people. Lots. I'm the head advisor of the Dwarven Kingdom. So technically it's my kingdom. Tyrion is just going to shake his head. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> exactly my sentiments. <laughs> a tiefling <laughs> leading, an, leading a kingdom of dwarves. Hey, I also, made she this sleeps better. around with the orcs. So. And he just, he just kind of t puts his fingers on his brow and just like, ugh. <laughs> You know, it, Ezra just smiles behind his mask. Exactly my sentiment, Elf. <laughs> At least you know what I am. It's kind of obvious. 
Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Is it really because she has horns? She has hooves. She's all fiery. In red skin, you know. <laughs> a tail. Wait, what, wait, wait. Is there like a big difference between purebred demons and tieflings? Yeah. Basically, she has the blood of a demon, but she is an a demon. So wait. So she actually does look very different. Yeah, like, she looks like, but she's more. She looks more demon, don't you, Severa? Mm -hmm. By the way, aren't we gonna she's get like some bear, background horns, music? Tail. Ezra looks around. I'm <laughs> hungry. I'm gonna go eat. Just why does the spirit eat you? Don't question me. That's exactly why he eats because he's not a god. Gods don't need nourishment. Spirits do. <laughs> um, wouldn't spirits feed off of other spirits? It's That's complicated. Can that is cannibalism. I'm appalled you would say that. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, go in. Drink it on me. Let's have some fun. You think yourself a god? Azrael? I do not think it, Tyrion. I know it. Can you prove it? Carves stone. Yeah, baby. Perhaps I made a mistake coming here. <laughs> yeah, I wake up yeah. every morning asking myself that did I make a mistake? Uh. <laughs> it matters. Where, where are you currently camped so that I may move my belongings to you? Um, oh. Well, this looks like a nice inn. Let's <laughs> camp here. <laughs> You do realize that I can have rooms for you guys in the palace. Right, let's well, camp in the palace. No, no, this is, this is exactly what Ezreal likes. Rock everywhere. Well, then no, you can stay, stay here. here. I think the palace has more rock. <laughs> but we're underground. <laughs> What's more refined? The, the palace was made out of rock. Yeah. <laughs> it is this is made of, like, piece of rock. wooden rock. <laughs> anyway, uh, Tyrion so, was it. How do we know you're not just some assassin waiting for us to lower our guard and slaughter us or something? It won't be the first then time. then I would already have killed you. Yeah, yeah, considering how you aim, I'm not sure about that. Uh, he's gonna, which... he's gonna uh, lean in. I would mind your tongue. <laughs> Human. Jeez, uh, you don't have to be so touchy uh... about it. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> now, how's about a few drinks? Let's go in already. Why are we just standing around here? We look strange, oh, everybody's looking at us. <sighs> By this point, some of the other patrons have gone in. And you can hear the sound of piano being played in the background. There's a little, there's a little dwarf in a bowler hat is just going away on the piano. Is that Lopso? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 also, real quick, real quick. Before we continue, he, like when he says, I would mind my tongue if I were you, human, he's going to just casually, as we turn around to go into the inn to take a drink, toss a note back to Wilfred. Oh? Wilfred uh, oh. takes a look at the note. It's a wanted picture of you! <laughs> oh, how much am I uh, worth? 200 gold. Aww. Only 200? It's, that's exactly why I gave it to him. Aww, <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> By the uh, way, I just want to—I just want to mention something to you, to just to be on, is the fact that um, you like I've already mentioned whose other poster you have, and they're worth five hundred. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so everyone else is worth more. <laughs> so wait, wait, so oh, oh, so Lipso is worth five hundred, but. Wilfred is 200, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Ooh. Ooh, uh, how, does, how does that feel? <laughs> Wilfred uh, takes out uh, his pen that he uses to write in his journal, adds three more zeros to the poster, and just <laughs> drops him on the floor and keeps going. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, is there, I, I, Jade, I have to ask, is there anything that can support <laughs> me <laughs> in this bar? <laughs> yeah, the stone Sorry, tables. Yeah. Oh, just sit on the fucking small, table, but dude. they weigh as much, like, oh, they weigh more than a normal human. That's so their good. chairs can actually support you. No, it's, it's, a, it's a dwarven inn. The, the, the <laughs> chairs are probably made of solid stone. It's, it's a valid <laughs> question. No, there's a few. They, they have a, benches made out of stone. It's a, it's a valid right. question. So yeah, anyway, yeah. let's yes. sit down, order some drinks. Wilfred will be busy making his potions and shit. Actually, Jade, you said there was a market around, right? 
Uh, not exactly a market, more like free trade sort of deal. So I could go up and buy some supplies, right? For some, like... Oh, right, before cereals. we start recording, Ugu's gonna grab some coffee. Oh, I already started. It's okay, she'll be back soon, so... I think she already went. Yes. Well, if we want to speed up the drinking, well, Tyrion is just gonna order water. For himself. Yeah, everybody orders what they like. You have enough money. But <laughs> They're not gonna ask you what you're gonna get, and you know... I, I think, like, my glass of water would be free, right? Because I'm, I'm currently renting... <laughs> yeah. Water's free. Water's always free. Um, it's like uh, tw it's like uh, twenty silver for the good stuff, one <laughs> silver for ale. Uh, the bartender's probably gonna look at you funny for just ordering water. For I've only been ordering water the whole time. I don't drink Actually, alcohol. Actually, yes, he's been here for a little bit. They they know he's weird. This, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ezreal he's gonna drink, but he'll only finish like one thing. Uh, get up and sit, you know, and he'll go to the free trade. He's gonna try to buy some stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. He doesn't even we say like where he's going. Him. He's just uh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. He's just some uh, random god guy. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Is, they, uh, they, 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 Is is uh, is Kuha here? Hmm. Yes. Oh. As we're uh, sitting and drinking, Tyrion is actually going to sit next to Kuha. Oh. Uh, so, I haven't heard you say anything. Either you're very wise, or very stupid. <laughs> I just doesn't, haven't had anything to say, mostly. So I see it's the latter. Uh, I don't know if I had anything to say that actually would have redeemed myself from that. What is your name then? Kuha, Namaze Kuha. Ah, I'm gonna rummage in. I don't think I have a wanted poster for you. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done anything much to actually achieve myself to get the uh, one wanted state from anything. Hopefully not. <laughs> so, how long have you been with this group? Uh, how long has it been? I don't even know. It's been about uh, a few months now. Well, yeah, a few, two months or so. Mm. So it is, as the papers say. Right. Now, what, have you come, what have you come to this city? I have heard tale that you have visited the Dwarf King that no one else can see. Well, really, mostly I have just uh, followed these people. Ah. My ex to the wrong person, then. Well, if you really want to inquire our current goal, you'd most likely have want to talk to Will or Severa, I suppose. <laughs> because to be quite open, honest, I have sort of forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> forgotten what? It's okay. Tyrion is just gonna stare at you. And then just stand up and go to the other side of the table and sit next to Severa. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and as he... Wait, is Kishki here? Yeah, what the fuck's the matter with her? Where mm -hmm. is she? Kuha, Did they allow her inside? Mm -hmm. Do they allow her inside? I don't even know. Again, it's the same kind of deal that you've had of every other bar. Who's going to uh. stop a giant fox from entering their establishment? <laughs> It's like, Good. a horse I would normally not let in here. I'm not sure about the giant dog. I think uh, Kishki liked beer, so Wilfred's gonna give her some beer. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> As Tyrion passes Kishki, he's just gonna look and just scowl. Ugh. <laughs> By the way, you get just a look of disdain. Like, you're basically, he, she, she looks at you like you're nothing to her. She's like... So we just can we just have like this scene where we both stare at each other for several seconds, just scowling, and then both turn away at the same time. <laughs> and, and, there's, just... and there's lightning <laughs> flowing between you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just staring at each other, and then she just, as Will brings her a beer, she just looks away and has a beer. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah. I am the I am the one <laughs> ranger that hates animals. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird. Okay. That's pretty That's amazing not... if you think about it. No, I, I, I do not have animal companion. Yeah. 
by the way. Uh, don't um, hate Kish, Kish, he's a powerful being. Killed many bosses. <laughs> kill steal. Kill steal. <laughs> Tyr Tyrion has more reason than most to not like animals. What about dragons? That being said, though. Dragons, they're just <laughs> elemental beings. He sees them as the same as river spirits and shit. Anyway, that being what said, would though, um, yeah, in the, I'm just saying the atmosphere of the inn right now. It's very relaxed and very rowdy at the same time. You expect this from a dwarven. Like, everybody's just so calm, and yet the normal greeting is like a punch to the stomach or something between the dwarves. But for some <laughs> reason, you see a line of dwarves all at the main bar looking very depressed for some reason. That is very rare. Uh... Zero. Has Wilfred finished preparing all his stuff by now? Yeah, you would have. Oh, excellent. Well, mm -hmm. since he's probably gonna go near the bar to grab another round for uh, the rest of the guys, he's probably gonna, you know, uh, notice them and be like, Hey, hey fella, wh why the long face? What's wrong? You're in a bar, why aren't you having fun? Huh? Oh, human. Uh, well, <sighs> I guess there's no trouble telling you. Uh, a mine closed today. Oh? You know, out of work. For the time being, at least, until they open a new one. Why did it, why did it close? Well, they found something rather odd down there. Some kind of ruins. Ruins? You don't say. Yeah, I don't know much else. Send an archaeologist down there. Ruins? Huh. Uh, can we bring up the map? All right, I'll bring up a map. I show my map to the dwarf and uh, ask him, uh, "Is your mi uh, is the mine you're talking about somewhere around here?" Hmm. Where? Okay. Around here. He's looking at it. He goes, "What's well, between those two places?" If that's what you mean, from what I remember. It's in that direction, at least. Ain't that far. <coughs> a good mine. Interesting. Didn't have to... It's like, didn't really have to, uh... Go very far to get some work, you know. That's what was so good about it. Till we went and opened that cavern. That's where the ruins were. Could, so could I use straw? Beside him goes, Oi, don't tell him so much. So... Ah, uh, you have the bar. There's too much between you. Ah, don't worry about it. We're all friends here. Wilfred buys another round for the dwarves and sends it their way. So, why did they uh, close the mine just for some stupid old ruins? What do you mean? Doesn't seem right to oh. keep uh, you fellas from your job and livelihood. Why would they do that? Because you found some weird ruins. Are they gonna explore them or something? He he looks over to some of the other dwarves, they just seemed it not very interested, so he decides, he just nods a little and goes, Well, you see, these weren't inactive. They were glowing. Glowing? Seemed like some sort of energy was going through them. So the... So the guys decided to have a little look around, and we kind of got fired for it. Of course, then they closed down the entire mine, so we didn't have a job to go back to, even if we said sorry. That's how normally all things work down here. So, do you know some of the guys <coughs> that went inside to explore before the mine was closed? Hmm? Do you know well, some of the guys that went inside before it was closed? Oh, they're outside talking to the foreman. No. Oh. There's two of them. Okay. I do hope they open the mine oh, wait, up soon, case? friend. Mm hmm Case. Yeah. Uh, yeah, chat. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I forgot how yeah, to do the orange thing. thing. It's a uh, slash, slash me, <laughs> and you start writing. Uh, he, okay. pats the, he pats the dwarf yeah. on the shoulder and says, Enjoy your drinks, guys. And leaves them. Thanks, man. Uh, after he brings the uh, drinks back to his table and gives everybody their drink, uh, he goes outside to talk with the former and foreman and the uh, other dwarves to ask them about what they saw down there. Actually, Ezreal was like he's walking yeah. back. Uh, as he's walking back, he sees Wolfred leave and 
He's curious. This this man was actually polite. He likes this man. So he's gonna like he's gonna go up beside him and start walking with him. Not hey. asking questions. Hey, uh, did you manage to find what you were looking for? Looks he looks down. Yes. More that and more. Oh, good, good. I hope uh, they have a lot of stuff in stock because I'm gonna need to buy a lot of supplies myself. He nods his head uh, and just keeps walking with Wilfred. Yeah. <laughs> there, you he doesn't say much. That. It's actually just around the corner. As I mentioned before, you saw these people before. It's the noble-looking guy talking to two miners. And you and you over here, even before you get close, is. Oh, hey, I'll take the job, but depends on the pay, as I told you. And he and goes, oh, I won't tell you what the pay is until you accept the job. Uh, That's how things work. Yeah. Wilfred interrupts at that point uh, and mentions the dwarves inside told him uh, what's going on. So he asks about uh, what kind of job uh, is he offering. Huh? What do you mean? Um, did those numbnuts tell you what's going on? Ugh, I knew there was more of you that saw those ruins. Uh, well, since you know, simple. I had to go and talk to the king about the ruins about a month ago. And he told me to put an expedition together. Now seems about the perfect time. What are you looking for down there? Or is it just uh, to find out what the ruins are about? What the fuck? Just to find out what they're about. Archaeological stuff, you know, that sort of thing, dear boy. I see, so that's why you're trying to recruit some workers. Though they seem a little bit reluctant to do so. Hey, mate, we see what's down there. I ain't going down there for the life of me if I'm not getting paid a lot. So I take it it's uh, more dangerous than a simple walk in the park then? What was down there? Yeah, there was some sort of uh, golems down there. You know, the type you see walking around here. Golems? But they're different. Different? As real nears, nears is us. Different how? They made out of strange rock. Tried taking a piece of them and uh, got mighty frisky after that. Didn't try beating us down, but tried capturing us. God damn it! And next level, I get Disable Construct. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> By the uh, way, at this point, you say, Oi! You two! From behind you. There seems to be about us? four dwarves. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yes, there seems to be about something? four dwarves standing at the entrance. Not the same ones you were talking to inside, but new ones. They didn't kind of look like adventurers. And they got some sort of crumpled up poster of some kind in their hand. Oh no. Oh no. Your name is uh, in the uh, draft. Ezra looks at... Oh no. Just... Ezra looks at, uh... Looks at, um... Looks at Wilfred and says, What are they talking about? Uh... Uh... uh uh, it, 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 it looks at Wilfred. Now is not the time to study your word. Stutter. What is this about? Don't pressure me. Look, uh, just uh, talk to them and find out. Give me a second. Okay. I mean, uh, as you're wait, wait. The, one of the dwarves point before you even say anything. He points the poster towards you guys, and what you see is that Wilfred is worth over twenty thousand gold. <laughs> and oh no. And the dwarves go. No, we won't go after such small fry, but you're worth a lot, ain't ya, boy? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, Wilfred flails his hands around. Take a better look at that poster. Uh, he points out to where he draw the, uh, draw the zeros. See? It's different color, and this one is fresh. These things were added on as a joke. I think someone is trying to mess with you. Tyrion? Wait, wait, wait. Uh... Wait, wait, P Jade? <laughs> Can I do one thing? Sure. Okay, because this is not exactly a quiet thing, right? It, oh, I mean, you're in the well, middle of a rowdy bar. You. you can clearly <laughs> see through the windows that Wilfred went past, now there's four dwarves blocking the alleyway. That's all you can see. 
<laughs> He's gonna tap Severa on the shoulder and go, I think your friend might need some help. Yeah, that's pretty common. Let's, let's just go help him. <laughs> I don't I don't want any problems in my kingdom. So, yeah. And walking outside, he's going to go over to Wilfred and just put an arm around Wilfred's shoulder. <laughs> um, okay. He's going to look that at was... the wars and go, this here, this is my booty. Oh my god. <laughs> you boys can go get a bounty somewhere else. Oh my god. That's so oh. and, and he motions and like Boy. he does like a little thumb flick to Severa. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to mess with her? <laughs> Not yeah, me. What are you talking Please about? Please choose wisely. Oh. Uh <laughs> like they they're sort of frozen for a moment. It's like uh L Lady Severa, uh I <laughs> No, he was with you. Uh, yeah, not many people do. I believe you've been mistaken. He's not worth 20,000 gold. He's only worth 200. If at all. Telling the truth, then. <laughs> of course. Yeah, but it seems offended by that. <laughs> he crumples up a piece of paper and throws it away. Yeah, that ain't worth my time. <laughs> exactly. 